Good happy Tuesday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to Hollywood Dirt Report. Let's begin. First up, Rihanna sues her father claiming he's using her name for profit. Let's take a listen to the video from Good Morning America in ABC News. Hey, Daryl, would you choose the network rated number one in the nation by the expert or the one awarded by the people? Uh, Correct. You don't have to choose because, uh... Oh! Switch to the network awarded by Root Metrics and JD Power. Buy the latest Galaxy phones at Galaxy S9 free. You know, Michael, we need someone to pinch hit. Who could we get? Who could we get? How about Tom Bergeron? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. How are you? Hi! Hey, buddy. How are you? I love listening to you to hear people. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was great. That was great. This is in addition to the voices I usually hear in my head. So I get to do uh, pop news. Pop news. All right. Right. Are you, All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. It's time now <laughs> for pop news. In today's pop news, Rihanna accepted Harvard's Humanitarian of the Year Award last night, and after her heartfelt speech about what drives her to help others, the pop star was thanked by a young scholar. This is quite a kid. Take a look. Rihanna, we thank you for your compassion, your philanthropy to help others in need, and your wonderful music. That is uh, Dancing with the Stars host season 40. <laughs> the superstar revealed the pledge she made to herself as a kid, promising, quote, when I grow up, when I can get rich, I am going to save kids all over the world. That's a lovely, a lovely sentiment. Yeah, next up. Uh... Okay, and there you go on that video. And also we learned Rihanna sued her father Tuesday, claiming he is seeking to trade her hard-earned success for his own profit. I revealed my virginity on The Bachelor. Here's why Colton's season is important. Let's take a listen to the video. What are you doing? Taking a selfie. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, I got it. A fridge with an extra cubic foot of space. Another way we make good things for life. It's time for the skinny, and it's a first this morning for my dear co-anchor here, Kenneth Bowie. Yes, uh, my first time being here for uh, Bachelor Analysts, especially for our senior Bachelor Analyst, Jack, everybody. Yes. Yay! My mother's yeah. favorite segment. Mine too. Right. You oh, you're just my mom's favorite. I, I appreciate that. Believe me, we need all the uh, mom support we can get. There yeah. you go. Today, we'll have to that for my uh -uh. mom. <laughs> Kenneth's mom, greetings to her. Good morning, Kenneth's mom. Good morning, good morning. Folks, it was a night of firsts, as we said, on uh -huh. The Bachelor. Several breaking stories okay. at the mansion. And so, roll that beautiful Bachelor footage. Colton's the cleanest bachelor of all time. After the shower, the first group date. In case you're wondering what's going to happen today, we're here to help you guys tell your own stories about significant firsts in your lives. Some ladies not letting the first night at the mansion go. I grab my whistle and my lifeguard gear, and I save him from drowning in some <laughs> She looks upset. 
And let me just add, there are some thirsty girls here, so I had to do it. <laughs> but I can be aggressive too. Someone came up to me and blew a whistle, actually, and said Colton was drowning in <laughs> I'm a good swimmer. <laughs> oh my god. Later, scandal. Oh, it's my rose. Demi touches the rose. I'm not gonna lie, I was like short of breath. I didn't know what was happening. We've seen this before. First one-on-one -on -one date with Hannah B. Horseback riding, a hot tub in the middle of nowhere. You're good, good. So what else? Not much to talk about. There's a lot of things that are concerning me right now. Hannah B. with a tough question for Colton. Like, why are you a virgin? Seems like we've heard that before. Hannah B. gets a rose. Will you accept this rose? Yes. <laughs> Second group date, off to Camp Bachelor. The red team versus the yellow team. Come on, come on, come on! There were winners and losers. The cocktail party was going well. Then it got a little loud. Okay, time's up. Demi put on a robe and took things into her own hands. Take to the no, I don't know what's happening in there, and she got on a rope, so I don't know what's under the rope. Oh my god. Kiss count, kiss count, the kiss count stops at eight. So, big improvement there for Colton after uh, last week's three. For those counting, 19 women got roses last night. That okay. means four headed to the door. Wow. See ya. Don't even need to na name them. Forget about it. Uh, okay, so Chief Senior Bachelor Analyst. Yes. What's your prediction? Who you got? This year, I'm going to go conservative. She got the first impression, Rose. Hannah G. Hannah G. Write it is, down, y'all. Okay. Write it down. She's the winner of The Bachelor. She and Colton are engaged. Hannah, Hannah G. 23 yeah. years old, 23. a content creator, content Birmingham, creator. Alabama. On that note, okay. All right. Bachelor out. The All right. analyst yeah. out. I'm out. I'm Thank out. Thank you, and Jeff. Bachelor. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And let us know, do you watch The Bachelor? Comment below and let us know. We want to hear from you. Get your popcorn ready. Movies you need to see in early 2019. And let's take a look at the video. Are you ready for Xfinity X5? Super fast speeds, enhanced coverage, ultimate control. Take your Wi-Fi to the next level with X5. Simple, easy, awesome. Get ready to welcome a great guest. You know him from Atonement. He was a young Charles Xavier in the X-Men movies. Now he's been in the good thriller Split. Also starring in the sequel Glass. Yes, you saw yes, last I night. did. Fantastic. Great. Please welcome James McAvoy. <laughs> through the door and she's Woo! jaded and over it and just doing it for the money and so he's he there every day because he loves it yeah, yeah. yeah anything we should ask him or tease him about um uh... okay there you go james mcavoy was on good morning america talking about one of his movies he's in we are just a couple of weeks into 2019 and there are already some blockbuster films to be excited about. From the inspiring Captain Marvels to the hilarious What Man Want, here is a detailed list of 23 movies you probably are going to see now until the end of April. Let's take a look. Bring the kids along for upcoming hits like Lego Movie and How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. There's certainly something for everyone. Let's take a look at the movies. 
first movie that will be coming out in a couple of days is Glass, January 18th. It is released. Serenity is released on January 25th. Miss Bell is released on February 1st. What Men Want is released on February 8th. The Lego Movie 2, the second part, is released on February 8th as well. Isn't It Romantic is released on February 13th. Fighting with My Family is released on February 14th. Rhythm Section is released on February 22nd. How to Train Your Dragon is released on February 22nd. Greta is released on March 1st. Captain Marvel is released on March 8th. Gloria Bell is released on March 8th. Red Hugo Bernadette is released on March 22nd. Greyhound is released on March 22nd. Five Feet Apart is released on March 22nd. Us is released on March 22nd. Beach Bum is released on March 22nd. Dumbo released on March 29th. Teen Spirit released on April 5th. Shurzum is released on April 5th. Little is released on April 12th. Breakthrough is released on April 17th. Average End Game is released on April 24th. And those are the movies that we are looking forward to in 2019. Very cool indeed. Let us, let us know what movie you are looking forward to seeing from that list that you just saw. Comment below and let us know. And now let's take a look at your... Celebrity birthdays for today. And here's a look at your celebrity birthdays for today. And happy birthday to all of those celebrities for today. We hope they all have a wonderful birthday. And... That does it for this edition of Hollywood Dirt Report. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Hollywood Dirt Report. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of Hollywood Dirt Report. Have a wonderful night, everyone, and goodbye.